Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, we're going to be talking about what new vehicles and new content we will be receiving next in Grand Theft Auto Online. We're going to be taking a look at the future drip feed, when that's going to be coming out. We're also going to be taking a look at more things Rockstar will be adding and how that will have an impact on the new DLC that will likely come out in 2018, sometime then. I know we're in the middle of the festive surprise and doomsday high stuff right now, but what Rockstar is doing and the way they're releasing it has a direct impact on that content. So we're gonna be discussing it in this video today. So the Overflawed Autarch just came out. Rockstar is cranking out these drip feeding vehicles and at a relatively surprising quick rate. Uh, it's almost a little bit too much. It's like you get the next car, boom, next day another vehicle out. So let's talk about what vehicle is going to be coming out next in Grand Theft Auto Online. There are two potential options. The first would be coming from the Southern San Andreas Super Auto site. It would be the final vehicle from this website, and that is the Canis Camacho, which is a four-seater off-road lifted monster Jeep for $345,000. I am so stoked for this vehicle because it is amazing. It is such an off-roading beast. So that's one potential option. The next would be a sports classic vehicle, the Anis Savestra, which would be on the legendary motorsports site. It's a two-seater for basically a million dollars, $990,000. If you literally change the paint job on this, it'll put you over the $1 million mark. So that vehicle is gonna be pretty awesome. It has some amazing customization and liveries too. So either one of those options is not a bad thing. Now let's talk about when we could see something like this. So a member on the GTA forums evolution posted this schedule right here that I think makes a ton of sense. So let's take a look at it right now. You can see we've already got the Sentinel Classic, which came out on December 19th, the Streeter, which came with the snow on December 22nd, the Hermes, which came out yesterday on Christmas day. And to everyone's surprise, the Autarch today on December 26th, which is boxing day. So again, Pretty cool, four vehicles literally within seven days. I don't think Rockstar has ever done that with the drip feed. Now, let's talk about what vehicle could come next. So if you think about it, the Streeter was sort of an off-road sports car made for the snow. So I think that the Camacho coming out next would make the most sense too. And since Rockstar released a vehicle with the snow the first time around, who's to say they won't be doing it this time? So my prediction in this schedule also shows the Camacho coming out on December 29th, which would make sense. And then on either December 31st or January 1st, whenever Rockstar decided to do it, they would release the remaining legendary motorsports vehicles. Because after the Camacho, it's all legendary motorsports. There's no guessing what vehicle is going to come next because they just got to run down the list. So after that, it would be the Sevestra on the 31st or the 1st. If Rockstar want to continue the exact same pattern of doing a vehicle on Monday because of the holiday, New Year's, and then also doing one on Tuesday because it's a Tuesday, that means they would add the Viserys on January 2nd. And then from there, I think everything would start to normal out. We would see one vehicle per week with the GT500 coming on the 9th of January, the Revolter coming on the 16th of January, the Neon coming on January 23rd, the 190Z coming on January 30th, the Hustler coming on February 6th, and the Comet SR coming on February 13th. Now, if that's the case, that drip feeding process is not bad at all, especially given what Rockstar has done in the month of December. They've really sped things up if indeed they continue at this same pace. Now, another thing that's pretty interesting is that schedule, if everything happens according to plan, would end one day before Valentine's Day. And Rockstar has done a Valentine's Day DLC every single year whether they do a brand new one or whether they bring back the old Halloween stuff and sort of do an event week. They always reference and mention Valentine's Day in some way, shape, or form. So that would give them the opportunity to do a proper Valentine's Day update as something they could introduce into the game. That, in my opinion, would actually be pretty awesome. So that right there is your release schedule for the vehicles. Once again, to recap, kind of getting us to the future, I predict that on Friday, like a couple days before New Year's Eve, when I said the snow is going to come out, we're also going to get the Camacho, and then a couple days later, the Sylvestra, finally ending the day before Valentine's Day uh, with the Comet SR, and that is going to be in middle of February. So if you think about it, the drip feeding for this uh, DLC would have only gone on two months, 
which is not bad at all considering there was 13 vehicles. That's a pretty good pace in my opinion. Now let's talk about a few more things Rockstar is going to be doing. They said they're going to be adding the snowfall back towards uh, New Year's Eve. Uh, we know that that will likely happen on Friday, December 29th, and it'll probably go away on January 2nd, uh, which is, of course, a Tuesday, the second day of the year. They also confirmed that we're going to be getting new gifts as well. Now, Rockstar didn't state when those gifts were going to be coming out. But according to the Rockstar Newswire and Social Club and event page, we're going to be getting those gifts on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day because that's the only thing they mention. So I'm not sure what those gifts are going to be. I honestly thought they were going to be doing them daily up until New Year's Eve just because there's so much stuff left. We still have those like neon wire suits that they haven't introduced in the game. There's still a couple Krampus masks that they haven't added. There's a bunch of festive liveries for cars that we don't have unlocked yet. So it seems as if Rockstar is either gonna like dump all of that on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, or they'll kind of space it out and do it little by little. Based off of what the Newswire says, I'm thinking it might be like a lump sum dump that sounds kind of funny to say, on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, which honestly wouldn't be bad because I'm probably just going to be hanging out on those days anyways, and I'll definitely be able to hop on and grab those gifts. Now, as far as the bonuses in Grand Theft Auto Online goes, I wouldn't suspect that we would get any more discounts and bonuses and stuff like that until after January 8th. So the newest adversary mode has uh, double money and RP on it, slashers, till January 8th. The previous adversary mode also has double money and RP until January 8th, that is Occupy. So that's when I would imagine the following day on January 9th, we would end up getting uh, new bonuses and sales and stuff like that, probably even a new vehicle too. And then once again, Rockstar said that the returning and new festive gear will be going away on January 1st, 2018. So it'll probably be going away on January 2nd, like really early in the morning. So again, it's not lasting as long as you think this time. Now, as far as other content goes, Rockstar still have two adversary mode uh, remaining left in the files. So we actually got these two pretty quickly, like back to back. Um, obviously, we got Occupy last week, Slashers this week. There's two remaining. One of them is Air Quota. We've talked about some of the vehicles that are going to be featured in that, the jet pack, some of the new jets from Smuggler's Run. And then there's Hardest Target, which we don't really have any information on what that is going to be. But there's two adversary modes that are left. And that right there should be pretty telling as to how fast I think Rockstar want to get the drip feeding out of the way. There's only two adversary modes left, and they've got basically two months of content remaining. So you can probably guarantee that one of them will be coming out in uh, January and one of them will be coming out in February if Rockstar want to space it out as evenly as possible. Now, the last thing we need to talk about is some information from Fun MW2, who tells us that there's going to be some more double money and RP opportunities coming to Grand Theft Auto Online soon. So he says that right now we have Slashers and Occupy as double money and RP. But he says that there's going to be a confirmed set of adversary modes that are going to be getting double money in RP. Rockstar just haven't activated them. So those are Condemned, Overtime Shootout, Overtime Rumble, Land Grab, Turf Wars, Juggernaut, Vehicle Vendetta, Vehicle Vendetta Street, and then the Bunker Modes. So that's a lot. And I, I wonder if Rockstar is going to be doing that all at once. Kind of like a lump sum double GTA money in RP event. And he states that they he hopes there's more than that like two times on import export gun running etc that would be really awesome if they did that they did two times heist a while ago and doing the two times business stuff is always pretty cool and last but not least he states there's going to be two bonuses that are going to be happening soon so they're both special offers that end on january 1st this first one is earn a bonus of 500k for a limited time from now until January 1st, complete any three biker missions and get 500k in your maze bank account within 72 hours. So that one's pretty cool. The next one is special offer just for you, 50% cash back on your first biker property business. From now until January 1st, Maze Bank Foreclosures is offering 50% cash back on your first biker business property. So those are two things that are going to be happening soon, obviously because it's ending on January 1st. So look out for those the next couple days, although those seem to be for people that haven't even jumped into the biker stuff. Probably some incentives in order to get you going in that, which honestly, it's not a bad business model. So if you want to jump in, wait till you see a notification like that and you can save yourself a little bit of extra money. But anyways, that right there is all the information I've got for you guys in this video today regarding when the next content is going to be coming out, what vehicle it's going to be, what we have left, 
when we could expect the first 2018 DLC to be and when it could release then, and a whole lot more. Let me know which vehicle that's remaining you are the most excited about in the comments section down below. Is it the Camacho? Is it the 190Z? Is it the Viserys or the Sylvestra? Let me know in the comments section down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.